guards here. Calder may be nearby. This roof should give me a clear view. permission we will now return to Asa. Soon. I have need for you still. Asa's warriors. Where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout. Resolute. Step over here. Seekern and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Come, join me, chosen ones. Together, we will enact Suter's will. <laughs> That distinct honor. Let us see. Swear by the river. Round by a cross the river. stand in our path. Several wounds. 
This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. Asa caught up to Kelder. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals her direction. Kelder's too. And most importantly, the Salakars. They're headed west. Refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunk hill. Azan called her fort here. Blood was spilled. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other, closer together, uneven, flying with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Must be careful now. No sight of Ace or Calder. Only these curious Jotun fools who stand in my way. They should run. These muspels, Ragnarok came early. Asa yeah. chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <laughs> Looks to have caused her too. She came crashing in, killing whatever half wits stood between her and Calder. But those half wits fought back in numbers, injured and disarmed. She was overpowered and restrained. Calder than ever chose to a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. 
What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she's his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Salakar. For Baldur's sake. see life as I see it. In the meantime, they must rely on me to ensure they live long enough to achieve that wisdom. And so, I do not have the luxury of being faultless. They made a turn here, toward the river. Pray. Pray lies ahead. Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To know fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Suter will be surprised when I present him with his own daughter's empty corpse. But I will make sure he knows the truth. to do with the Salakar. Tell me. <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst. You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do? I do for Suter! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Moospil sacrifices... You need it only look inward.
Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sotor will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balder, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the Hooger of a suitable Jotun. Called her never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this bauble share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. can help me find a suitable Jotun. Perhaps if I listen to their chatter, some found wisdom will reveal itself. Indeed, go out to the valleys as soul as our spirit. Death may have to carry us into the next realm. <laughs> Come to humiliate us some more? Help me, and I'll compose your saga so exalted it'll enjoy Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svatalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Malviger. Here because of us. She is worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviger care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarfs, and after befuddled tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutengar wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutengar is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards, some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutengar didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviger to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviger's dangerous prey. Even for you. But we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table, you'll find a cup 
great potency. Cup, you know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malvigor. It's a deal. What? This is the place. The old home of Brahma and Lom. Or whatever they're called. I should find a way inside. <sighs> Looks like I'm getting my toes wet. This wondrous cup of theirs. It should be on the table over there. Nothing. Perhaps someone has already been here and stolen it. Assuming there was a cup in the first place. Telling us you'd be here. <clears throat> it's best to leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malvigor is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse I will be. <sighs> Molviger is at the den to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. That by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High One, I would have brought an army. No, Sutungar will have his vengeance, but not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son Vidar, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. 
But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim. And when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans. Beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvheim. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic. And that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic. And that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengar for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic. Take your son and leave. Just like that. <laughs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Balder is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So be it. Done for now! <laughs> Find one! End my misery! Oh, Ymir, true old father, my body comes to you, sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hugar, do not weep for me. I do not deserve no, you do not.
Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people that I've never heard of. I never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutur invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vanir had only just ended and I was weary. Long after, I learned how Sutur devoured the Elves' immortal light, Hooker by Hooker. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hoogers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspal. The other a Yotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutur, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this. This something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you're protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Vangrin was once home to your rivals, Sinri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. have left their mark here.
The shelter must be nearby. Symbol. A shelter must be close. So, this is where they hide. This must be the shelter Evil D spoke of. I should head inside. You'll get us in trouble. Evaldi requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Orgler. He's the master of this workshop. Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. Let's see which one's over. Uh, <gasps> Hello there. I bring word from Evaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the gangers. Ganger? Yeah. The chief. Name's Oakland. Evil descends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe. Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Brooker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Brooker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins.
Three times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, oh, then on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is... Horseshit. Master Brooker, I'm glad you've made it home. And your brother. Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, you said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunger special mead. What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evaldi with the job I need done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? He was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the stink. So, why is the great Ivaldi snooping around our old workshop? <sighs> Hoping to find something new. Obliged. Is recently to know they're not as light as they look. Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet meat he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away, bloody, drunk as a fish, but alive, most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jarnshus. That is where I should go next. This place reeks of misery, more than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. Likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. This place is heavily guarded.
this mark. Whoever he was, he had his hooker cruelly stolen. I can sense that the Salakar was satisfied on this occasion. It was this Kelder's first victim, and that amulet, the sigil. Sindri, reckless fool. All this was a mead. Oh well, it is done. I must return the body to Brugger. Most of the dead. of dwarves chance led to Sindri's capture but the nature of his death that was not chance when the enemy realized they had such a prize in their clutches who is this you bring no it can't be master broker I share in your grief truly I do your brother was the worthiest of dwarfs. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend broker to my will. I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow and make him amenable. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh. <gasps> But then, one of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he locked his chisel and struck the coward dead right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. Sindri. I must find a way to ease Brooker's sorrow. I'll make him amenable to my wishes. Where could they be? Is something wrong, Vesel? Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. And you have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground, right where they should be. I am very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs. It is. 
is exhausting. Oh, Loki. Friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your guilt conversation. <laughs> Even the lies. your eyes, my friend. Finally, the tools of Sindri's trade. with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. The disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's caused me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recasts the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Ivaldi has come. Perhaps he can be of use. What do you see?
How can I talk with you when my heart has torn asunder? My brother, a true master. He was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Brocker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come, let's take a stroll. Now tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But defying Sutrar was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutrar's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you, and all of Svartalvein. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think.
these are the finest tools you'll ever lay eyes on. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bagger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Hey, sir. You return. What? You deal with a fire, nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard, or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Ymir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofursmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. <laughs> 